And my favourite product at the moment is the Anastasia Browers. This is in the colour medium brown. What I like about this is that it has a retractable pencil. So what I like to do first is just groom all the hairs upwards. And that way you can see the arch and the line that you'll be following underneath your brow. So I like to start right here. And I tend to work on the outer third tail end first. So when doing your brows there's that trick that I'm sure a lot of you have seen where you place your pencil on the outer edge of your nose and where that pencil starts is where your brow should start. As for the arch, if you sort of turn your pencil that way and you just follow from the edge of your nose to your iris, that is where the arch should be. And then for the tail, if you line up the corner of your nose, the corner of your eye, that is where the tail should end. You can arch it wherever you want, you can start it wherever you want. Personally, I like that rule in terms of the where the arch and the tail should be. I think it's quite a good proportion for my face personally but with the start of the brow that is all very dependent on the size of your nose so if you have a wider nose then your brow is going to start further out so if you want to have give yourself the illusion of a slimmer more narrow nose if you bring the study brows closer together it's going to make your nose look a lot slimmer so as soon as I've got all those brow hairs groomed upwards I'm just following that natural line at the bottom. And now what I do is I brush all the hairs down. Then it gets all the hairs out of the way and you can see where to trace out the top line. So I'm still just working on the outer half of my eye. And you can see I'm just using really short feathery strokes and that's just to mimic the brow hairs basically. So now I'm going to start filling in the front and when I was doing the outside I'm still doing it very lightly but when I do the inner part of the brow I'm doing it super super lightly um, because otherwise if you have really really dark heavy brows at the front it can look quite harsh on your face by all means if you like that look then that's great so I'm just really really barely placing any pressure on that and especially at the front I'm just sort of trying to mimic the way the natural hairs are and I'm just brushing them upwards and it almost gives your brows like a little ombre kind of look. You've got a really dark defined arch and tail and then it gradually blends to a sort of softer look. And what I tend to do is while I'm doing my brows I will use the spoolie on the other end of this brush or you can just use your first um, eyebrow brush. And I like to just groom through the brows and this acts to sort of blend out the product so that you don't really see any harsh pencil lines. So I kind of alternate between brushing it through and placing more product down. And for a normal everyday makeup or I'm going to work or I'm in a hurry, that's what I'll do. And obviously I'll do it a lot faster. Brows is something I will always, always do. That will probably be my priority because I just think it looks so much nicer when it frames your face. Especially when I'm wearing glasses, I find that I like to have quite a strong brow. Everything just sort of balances out a bit nicer. But if I have a bit more time on my hands and I want my eyebrows to look extra dramatic or if I'm finding that my eyebrows are a bit patchy and they look a bit bored in places then I will go in with the Anastasia Brow Pomade. And this is just like a gel eyeliner um, for your eyebrows. So this one is in the colour Soft Brown and I just feel like to use an angled brush. What I like to do first is just to line those edges so they look super crisp. I'm just going to fill up any areas which are a bit more sparse. When I get to the front, I tend to just 
put the product upwards like that just to mimic those hairs again. And I like this because it really sort of carves out those brows and makes them look a lot more defined. Now one thing I'll notice is that if I'm looking front on in a mirror, the way I do when I do my brows, it looks fine. And then I'll go do something later on in the day, look in the mirror and catch it from a different angle and it looks like it's a bit more sparse. So at this point I kind of just lift my head, tilt it so that you can see it from different angles and just try and fill in those sparse areas a bit more. And once you're happy with how it is, that will be the point where if you choose to, you can use like a brow gel, you could use a clear one, a little eyebrow tone, and set that all in place so that it lasts all day. And I'm a big believer in that saying that eyebrows are supposed to look like sisters and not twins. Basically, they don't have to look identical. And that's okay. And that is my current brow routine. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.